we must rebuild some forms of cooperative internationalism, not just out of the goodness of our hearts, but out of every nation's self-interest. There is such a thing as mutual interest, and we have failed to act in our mutual interest on global health care. We are still failing to act in mutual interest on climate change. We're failing to act on mutual interest in a whole range of global public goods. They're global public goods because they don't just benefit one country or several, they benefit all countries. And that's the key lesson coming out of this crisis. We have greatly underfunded global public goods. And healthcare is a classic example. Greatly underfunded, reacting only after the crisis, and reacting in a very fragmented fashion. So we've got to address that forthrightly, because this is not the last pandemic we're going to have. It's not the large last global crisis we're going to have. And it's going to be far less costly to invest in multilateralism and to invest in global public goods. It's going to be far less costly than having to pay the cost of the crises that keep recurring because we have failed to invest in international cooperation. It's just far more costly. If you look at how much this crisis has cost countries individually, it's huge multiples of the cost that was required to simply make our due payments for the international system.